You didn't think Rally TV was all dusty stage side selfies and bustling city centre opening ceremonies, did you? The hard yards start back at HQ, checking and prepping equipment and a bit of EWRC research thrown in for good measure. We do have plenty of help on hand though. Start them young, I say. Once the prep work is done though, it is time to head to the event as the excitement builds. So the research is done, the planning is done, and everything's ready for the weekend of live rally coverage. Now I'm going to drive to the event. It's not too bad for me for the Keel of Forest stages. I've got about a three hour drive. When we used to do the Somerset stages, it will be seven hours, um, sometimes more if I got stuck in traffic. So tonight the plan is a bit of last minute work, have a look at what people are saying online about the stages, have a last look through my notes. Um, and then it's a case of nice meal, early night, and ready for a weekend of rally TV. After a dawn raid to get to the stage, it's time to meet up with the crew, sign on for media, get the equipment ready, and set up our base of operations for the first live broadcast of the day. There aren't many mod cons, breakfast isn't included, but you can expect some of the best views in the sport. Okay, so we're in position in the first of the day stages. It's Yarrow Moor. It's a seven and a half mile stage. So producer Wayne and Jamie Ganley, one of our cameramen, have gone for a bit of a wrecking. You might just be able to see them. Um, over on the top of the uh, bit of stage you can see there. So they've gone to find the best location for filming. We're going to have two live cameras out linked here today. It's always useful if we've got a way of um, hard wiring them as well through the undergrowth, which we've got miles and miles of cable. So uh, it takes a bit of setting up, but um, it just helps if the signal drops out because we do try and wirelessly link them together. Um, meanwhile, I've got my notes here. So I've gone through the entry list. I've got information on our BTRDA competitors. I've got information on uh, the rally and, and various other bits and pieces because we can't always guarantee we're going to have a good signal out here. It's great when we have because we can tap into the satellite link um, and get information and live results, but we don't always. Um, and because of bandwidth, we have to be very careful that we don't um, take up too much if it's if it's not such a strong signal so always good to have a lot of notes ready just in case so that we've got plenty to talk about because we've got to keep you guys entertained at home so this is the first stage as you can see the cars are going to come down the hill there into a hairpin left um, it's going to be really dusty today we've got a, an extra job on our hands because the safety team have asked us to send some information on the dust and how it's hanging because they have got an option to go to two minute intervals between the cars if the dust is hanging too much there's no wind here at the moment it's going to be a really warm day here in Northumberland and uh, well it's a smaller entry than usual so if they go to do go to two minutes it's not going to upset our timings too much but these days we've got live stages to get ready for and set up for and there's quite a lot of setup you'll see that in a minute um, but we're also filming for the uh, Seacon UK rally show on special stage which goes out on the first Friday of every month both on Sky and Freeview and online so we've got various it's like the old days when we were doing I don't know, 20, 30, 40 events a year, a special stage, and we'd be doing different TV shows and different online shows and different live things. Um, so it's great to be back doing this like we always did, throwing our hat well and truly back in the ring. So we're gonna set up now, and uh, I'll give you a bit of a, a glimpse into what goes on when we set up for these live stages here in the MRF Tires BTRDA Rally Championship. Having wrecked the filming locations, it's time to transport the equipment. The golden rule, apparently, is to park as far away as possible at the bottom of the biggest hill. We must lug tons of equipment, satellites, cameras, tripods, sandwiches, for miles through iconic rally stages. We've probably done more rally stages than Roger Clark. But he never carried a satellite. You don't need to film this bit. Back in the day when we first started doing coverage, live coverage wasn't really a thing from the side of the stages without huge investment, helicopters, big satellites. And indeed, when we got our first satellite, it took hours to put up. We were literally bolting things together. Um, it just took forever and then it was a pretty unstable uplink. Now with mobile technology, what it is, um, and satellite technology, what it is, along with a bit of trickery by producer Wayne, this, is basically our holy grail in this. And I can't show you what's in here. If you come a bit closer, I'll give you a sneak peek. Oh, no, producer Wayne's looking, can't show you, can't show you. In there is everything that we need 
to go live. And it's not as simple as just mobile uplinks, satellite. There's a whole lot of connections and various backups and fail safes. Um, and it, it, honestly, it's like a mobile studio. It's like everything you get in a studio van, but in a massive box that Wayne has to lug. And for some reason, he always parks at the bottom of a hill. We always have to lug it up a hill. I'm not sure why he does that. Saves him on the gym costs, I suppose. Um, but everything we need is in there. It's Wayne Goldring's secret box. Never thought I'd be saying that on camera. This is the satellite. I'm not allowed to show you it. So it's behind there. That's what gives us our connection when we've got no connection in forests and everyone walks past going, can I have your Wi-Fi password? No, no. If you ever see us in a forest and you see us on our phones getting live results, you can't have our Wi-Fi password. Of course, it's a satellite, a secret satellite. It's doing things. This is the bit we all love. The broadcast begins, the holding screen goes live, and we eagerly await the first glimpse of a rally car bursting into view. Special stage on air. Vattenen, Brooks, Higgins, Evans, McRae. We're in the wheel tracks of legends on hallowed gravel. You're about to watch yet more history unfold in the dust here in the MRF Tyres BTRD8 Rally Championship. And oh, there will be dust. From Morton in Yorkshire to sit alongside Ian in that Ford KA Challenge spec car with its sport car bumpers. <laughs> Over from the do rallies on the road sections and uh, towing the car. Apparently, Kaz says he talks a lot about pigeons and wombles. That's the first live stream of the weekend done, so we do the 1400s and the historic cruise through as one stream. They're in reverse seated order on most events. Then we do the main field through. There's two separate streams. Just means if you're watching from home, then you can easily go to, if you're watching afterwards, easily go to the part of the rally that you're most interested in watching. Um, it also means we can tell the narrative because they're, they're very different stories in these rallies and in the MRF Tires BTRDA Rally Championships, we can do that as well. So we're just waiting for the, uh, the gold star through. Every rally car through a forest is exciting, but knowing that you've got the fastest, some of the fastest rally drivers in the country about to do battle on the stage, just waiting for them to come through, waiting for the marshals, whistles, and that first wisp of dust in the distance, is, it just never gets old. It's, it gets you, and I hope you get that feeling at home as well. So we're about to go live again. I better um, just recap on where we are. Um, but it's good, this is good. Nice weather, a bit dusty, but we can live with that. First broadcast of the day successfully wrapped up and in the can. It's time to relocate the kit and crew and squeeze in a bit of vital nutrition. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting food. It's the most important part of the day. Top rally TV tip for you, Barney Bears. Got to be the ones with the chocolate fillings. Amazing, like amazing. If I get to stage four and I haven't had enough Barney Bears, you're going to know about it. Just in case Mrs. Woodford's watching, I do have to point out that we also eat proper food when we're doing rallies. Honestly. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> Jamie, you're a big petrol head. I know you got in this because of Phil Bramill, one of our other yeah. commentators, presenters, and cameramen. In fact, Phil's, Phil's a lot more versatile than I am. He can do everything, and he's got a better beard. Um, you work with <laughs> Philip Bentley, don't you? I do, yeah. So it started yeah. off as adventures. You were getting into rallying, coming to rallies with us, and then here you are 
shooting cameras. Have you, have you ever yeah. held a TV camera before this? Not before this, no. It's uh, the uh, pressure on that works. So I just, ah, come on out for the weekend. So. He's the boss, isn't he? He's, uh, he was my boss at the time, yeah. And so he kind of uh, didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice, no. He dragged me out and that's it. I've been stuck in the forest ever since. It doesn't so. feel like a job though, this, does it? <laughs> in fact, we're, no. quite, we're quite privileged to do this as a job, aren't we? Oh yeah, absolutely. To be out here with something that we love, it's, it's fantastic. It's brilliant, isn't it? You see the passion in the team. Jamie's the newest <laughs> member of the team. We've all been doing this 15 years. We've got a lot more grey hairs and a lot more um, wrinkles. Um, Jamie's fresh to this. I'm so not that. Give, give him a few years and, and he'll look like the rest of us, weathered and rally beaten. Absolutely. <laughs> We get to experience this like nobody else does when we're filming Rally TV. You can get most of the experience from home, but nothing quite beats being stood out here alongside iconic stages where people like Ari Vatanen and Colin McRae, Mark Higgins, Wyndham Evans have entertained the spectators over the years and created legends out here on the gravel. It's the best job in the world. the little privileges of the day is to drive through the rally stage when we're changing locations so I'm driving through Yarrow Moor the first stage of the rally here it's always interesting to see where the wheel tracks are and it helps with the coverage as well because we know what people are doing uh, you can see where there's big cuts you can see where people have perhaps been a little bit off the stage although in a road car <laughs> on road tires you got to go very slowly um, and it's always a bit of a challenge keeping up with producer Wayne in the special stage camera van. So we're going to move to the second location of the day now. You see what I mean? We're going to move to the second location of the day now um, and get ready and set up. Because the, of the dust, the rally cars were moved to two minute intervals, but the timings of the day were kept the same, which means that we've got less time to set up. Um, which frustratingly means that we're probably going to have to go with a one camera setup and not have the dual linked cameras like we did in the first stage, which is a shame, um, but it's one of those things we've got to be quite versatile and quite ready to adapt when we're doing these shows. Um, and you're always adapting. Take the Malcolm Wilson earlier this year, for example, when the stages changed the night before the rally, and um, you couldn't get into various parts that we wanted to film in, and the ones we did weren't exactly ideal. You're always adapting, and you're always trying to get the best from the um, circumstances that you've got in order to put on a decent show for people watching at home. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good afternoon and uh, luckily all of those who had issues through the first stage are going to be out to battle again in the very near future, no big do's. Um, so we'll get set up and in place, ready for the next live stage of the day. Once we've arrived at our second location, it's time to get everything set up again. A quick word with spectators and marshals usually yields some great stories from the earlier action through the stage. While we wait to go live, there's a bit more prep work to be done. With the leaderboard starting to take shape, we rely heavily on the excellent live results service. By this point, there are some good narratives opening up. We have to find them though. It's no good being a talking results service. We're there to give fans watching at home and teams watching in the service park a real feel for the event from stage side. Championship is the kill the forest rally, and there is our championship leader. And today, the man in a chasing position. So I saw Matthew Hurst and Declan Dirkham broadside into view, and up their sleeves it just makes things a little easier much of um, much of the atmosphere but if you've been sampling the atmosphere out there on the road sections are you going to be down there producer Wayne I remember the first time that we arrived in a field and we slept in a car together well separate cars um, and uh, that was Radnor you remember that yep, for the British Cross Country Championship yep. 15 years on and we're still doing it what's the biggest change for you in that time uh, it's a lot more work, there's a lot more equipment, definitely a lot more equipment. 
Uh, that's the biggest change. It's just trying to make everything out here in the wilderness work. It's the tech, isn't it? Yeah. And the amount of work that goes in behind the scenes that people don't see and they're not going to see from this either that you do before events, between events, looking at latest equipment, looking at how you can work on the rigs that we've got here. Um, it's not as simple as satellite, phone, camera, is it? No. I mean, it, it kind of looks a bit more simple today, but when you've got the wind, the rain, the snow, whatever else we're faced with. We've had it all this year. Yeah, this is fairly easy, but when you've got to keep all of this dry as well, it yeah. just throws it all into the mix, like for the border counties. You had monsoon weather there. That was unreal. Trying to keep everything dry was a near impossible. We haven't always done this professionally. This was a hobby back in the day. We now do it professionally. The, the big question, the million dollar question, Wayne Goldring, have you still got the passion for it? Do you still love doing this? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't be here otherwise, would we? Would you do anything else? No, nope. nothing. If you weren't doing this, what would you do? I don't know. Wouldn't even want to think about it. I think you'd be a dog groomer. <laughs> dog groomer. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that. <laughs> Jamie Gunley enjoyed that. <laughs> Welcome to the Seacon UK Rally Show here on Special Stage. We've got a mix of action. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. We'll have more of the action from around the UK with highlights of various rallies and championships in next month's show. And don't forget, we'll have more live action as well on the Special Stage social media channels and on YouTube. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Well, it's not the first time it's happened this year, but we started in bright sunshine and now the heavens have opened here in Northumberland. But I hope that's given you a real insight into what goes on behind the scenes here at Special Stage. We've been doing this as a team, but mostly as friends for 15 years. We've enjoyed the adventures we've had and we're continuing to enjoy them. We've really thrown our hats back in the ring this year with live coverage of various championships as well as our new Seacon UK rally show, which we're loving putting together with highlight packages, which is what made this great in the first place. Um, so thank you for joining us for that. And I hope that has given you a little bit of insight. If you do fancy getting involved in rallying, you can get involved in marshalling so easily with your local motor club or on the Motorsport UK website. And you never know, if you do fancy getting involved in the media side of things, maybe one day we'll have you on our team here at Special Stage. But for now, from the Kilda Forest Rally and from our behind the scenes look at what goes into live rally TV coverage, it's goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm going to go and get dry now.